Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. A lot of questions on the T40 remote and how it compares to maybe, let's say, controlling your drone with a laptop in the field or controlling your drone with like a smartphone type thing in the field because those are other solutions to other different sprayer drones. And so how does this compare to those solutions? So let's take a deep dive into what makes this remote really, really great. So first off, overall size uh, and button layout is very ergonomical. So we can hold the remote with with two hands, we can hold it with one hand, we can actually hook a strap to it right here or use these as a kickstand and just lay it down on a table. All right, secondly, you can see that size of the screen is pretty big and we can turn it on and off to conserve power during the day by just pushing the power button. Connectivity here, uh, this is basically essentially like uh, an Android operating system when it comes to connectivity. Swipe down, and you see we have our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth settings. You can hook up a Bluetooth headset to this remote and it'll tell you everything. All of the warning messages come in auditorily through a Bluetooth headset. You can also hook up mobile data, so a SIM card um, to this, this remote as well. We have our brightness adjustable and you guys might not be able to see this remote very well um, on the screen because of the camera glare, but we can see it perfectly fine even in really bright sunny days. And uh, there's our sound settings there. So. As far as the app layout and the controller thing, everything is very easy to do with your fingers on here on screen. It's, it's a big enough remote to control with your fingers. But let's say, well, I don't like controlling it with my hands. I'd rather have a mouse to control it or in a keyboard because that's why I like a computer system. Well, you can do that. So up here on the top, you see we have, turn it over so you guys can see, micro SD, USB A, uh, HDMI, and USB C. These ports are all covered, which means they're all uh, protected from the elements, dust, debris, and, uh, and water. So if you wanted to connect this to a screen, all you have to do is HDMI out. You can put it on a TV screen or a monitor. If you want to connect it, and this will this will do your sound, and it'll also do your picture. And then let's say you wanted to connect a laptop and a mouse to this. That's where you have this USB A. You can put a wireless mouse and keyboard dongle in this here and use a mouse and keyboard on a monitor so if you like the laptop feel you can literally turn this into a laptop and then of course you do have micro sd card slot for transferring data in and out you can do the same thing with your usb a slot and your usb c slot and your usb c slot also doubles as your charging port this is where you charge the remote so your charging port is also protected protected from the elements so what about power and charging? That's another big question. If you're operating this out in the field all day long, isn't it going to die? Well, yes, probably, but that doesn't matter because what's gonna die is this battery back here. This is the back cover. As you can see, very well protected from the elements and you have an external battery that pops out just like this. Our external battery has two out of four bars right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in there. Well, before I do, I'm gonna show you the front. So battery is out and our screen is still on. We can still use everything. The drone still flies if it's up in the air, no problems. So what happens is out in the field, this battery goes dead and a warning pops up on the screen and it tells you 10% battery left uh, in this battery. That is your cue to remove this battery and put your other battery in and then put this battery on the charger. You're already charging drone batteries so you already have power out in the field. So charging this battery is no different. Lock that back shut. You see we have our, um, our charge uh, indicator shows right there. The other thing that makes this remote great is it is your control station. So you can do all of your mapping, uh, all of your editing of your routes. You can do literally everything that you need to do with just this remote and the drone. You don't need anything else. You can do all of that right here. It is also your manual control station. So you can use the sticks, you can use all the button layouts to fly the drone manually. So it's a two in one. You don't need anything else. You don't need a phone, uh, or a remote and a laptop. You don't need a laptop uh, and a phone or a laptop and a remote. You just need this. That is all you need. And as far as range, there's none better. DJI has uh, extremely good uh, technology when it comes to range. And if this isn't good enough, then you can remove these antennas, use a coax cable and an extender and extend your range, put your, put your extender up on a pole, 20 foot up in the air, and you can literally have range for longer than the T40 will fly on one battery. Um, so really cool feature. It's also extremely robust. This remote, um, like I said earlier, is waterproof. 
We've got our cooling fins here for when it gets hot. And I don't know about you guys, but if I had a laptop in the field, I probably wouldn't do this with it. Let's go see it. A little dirty, still on. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Just text, give us an email. Thanks.